Kern County Parks and Recreation Commission met today in downtown Bakersfield to discuss the future of Hart Park and access to the Kern River. Tonight's meeting follows a series of meetings held by the county to get the community's ideas on how to revitalize Hart Park. Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Wilson has the update. Lexi. Dave Rochelle, Hart Park continues to be a topic of discussion here in Kern County. The Park and Recreation Commission are looking at ways to make sure that Hart Park continues to be a jewel for the community. And that includes minimizing deaths from the river. Last night's meeting had a large outcome of more than 100 people who are passionate about the proposed improvements to Hart Park. The commission told me that they intend to do what the public wants. And now it's up to... On how we make the uh, public's uh, vision come true. Right now, the Kern River is open to the public, but with the recent deaths this past year, the commission and board of supervisors are discussing ways they might limit access to the river. Brett Haney, division chief of general services, says the river is moving fast and there are safety concerns. But when it comes to taking a dip in the river, I would never encourage anybody to get in the Kern River. People come to the river to stay cool in the summer heat, but the river can be dangerous. Committee member Kathleen Arnold Chambers says she loves the beauty of the river. But it needs to be respected. The river can be dangerous to those visiting Kern County because they are unaware of the threat the river carries. The committee says the possible signage might decrease the number of deaths the river takes. How to keep this a wonderful place for families and children. The board plans to continue the discussion on ways to improve Hart Park and keep deaths from the river at a minimum. Be a good place. We want it to be a uh, safe place. We want it to be a place that people want to come to. No decisions have been made, but the commission will compile all the suggestions they received into a report that will then go to the Board of Supervisors. A plan will be released towards the end of the summer to the beginning of fall. Reporting in studio, Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.